Hello all and welcome back to the fourth video on PowerPoint VBA series and in this video we will learn about VBA editor. Before we start I request all the viewers to please subscribe, like and share this video and show support to my channel. So let's start with the VBA editor. In my previous tutorial we have seen how to enable the developer tab and to access the VBA editor we must head towards the same developer tab and then click on visual basic option at the very beginning. As soon as you click on it, VB editor will open up and this is how it looks like. Pretty simple and straightforward user interface but it has everything you will ever need to complete your VBA project. One important point, if you want to close this VB editor and then access the PowerPoint application, just go to the top left corner and then click on this old style PowerPoint icon. If you click back on the visual basic, it will take you back to the VB editor. That's how you can switch between these windows. Next we will see the project window where we can add or remove the projects. The top left window that we see in VB editor is the project window or project explorer and all the projects we create will be listed here. If in case this window is not visible, you can go to view tab and then enable the project explorer. Here in the project explorer, we can create three different type of projects. Right click on the empty space, go to insert and the first type of project is a module. The module is something which will hold our VBA code or in simple words, that's where we are going to write our VBA program. As soon as the module is inserted, the gray portion on the right side will turn into white and now it will allow us to type some line of codes into this section. The next project type is the class module and the class module within itself is a very big concept and I will take care of it in my upcoming tutorials. The third type of project is a user form. It usually comes with a toolbox that has many different elements that we can add into user form and then create our own user interface. I will take care of this topic again in my upcoming tutorials. So for now, just remember there are three different projects we can add in the VB editor. Next is the properties window and let's see how to change the properties of a project. The bottom left window that we see in VB editor is the properties window and the properties in this window depends upon the type of project we select from the project explorer. Let's first start with the module. Here in the project window we can only change its name and we need to follow few naming convention whenever we change any project names. Like if you try to rename any project name starting with numbers, that is not allowed. Also if you try to rename any project by adding spaces in between, even that's not allowed. So whenever I rename any projects, I follow a typical format and you can stick to it if it makes sense. I usually type the short form of the project type at the beginning, like mod for module, then followed by a underscore and then type in your project name without any spaces. After hitting enter, we can see the project gets renamed. Similarly for class module, begin your name with CLS which is the short form of class and then type in your project name. For user forms, follow the same pattern by adding UF at the beginning and then type in your name. You can also change the background colors using the system colors or inbuilt palettes. You can also change the font type and also add custom images as background using this browse option. There are few other properties which we can modify if required. If you carefully observe the way I have renamed all the projects, you will observe the short form of the project type at the beginning, but after the underscore, the only first letter of first world is in small case and thereafter it is in capital case. This type of naming convention is called camel casing and it is popularly used by all experienced programmers. So you can also use this naming convention from day one and then stick to it. That's all on the properties window. Next we will see the immediate window which is basically used to check the output of any expression. Apart from project explorer and project windows, there are few more windows we can enable which are rarely used but are important in few scenarios. Let's go to view tab and the first window we can enable is the immediate window. Just click to enable it and the immediate window will appear at the bottom. Immediate window is basically used to check the output of any expression without actually running the code 
and if i speak strictly with respect to vba it is used to check the output of any object against its properties or methods its syntax is pretty much simple it's like asking the question and then getting the answers we must ask the question by typing in the question mark and then followed by the expression let's keep it simple by typing 4 plus 2 and then hit enter you can see the output will be 6 Similarly we can check the output of any expression or any object against its methods or properties. Last but not the least is the watch window which is used to track the variable values. The next window is the watch window. Let's go to view tab and then enable the watch window. To show what exactly this watch window does, I must write a short VBA program. Let me increase the height of this window so that I can zoom in. Also let me write a short VBA code and don't worry if you don't understand anything I will cover all these topics in my upcoming tutorials In this simple program I have defined i as a integer variable and its boundary values are from 2 to 200 I am going to increment this value by plus 1 every time using a for loop and that will continue until its value reaches 200 So let me add this i variable into watches by right clicking on this variable then select add watch option and then finally click on okay you can see i variable gets added here if i start running this code line by line by using f8 key you can notice its initial value will be 0 until we actually enter into the for loop once we enter into the for loop the starting value of 2 will be assigned and thereafter its value will keep on incrementing by 1 until it reaches the value of 200 and all these changing values can be seen through watch window so in this way the watch window is used to keep the track of variable values at any given instance in our vba program i hope you got the point so that's all i wanted to cover in this video and stay tuned for next vba tutorial thanks for watching